Hello friends, this video on heredity and evolution part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the principles of inheritance wherein we will talk about the principle of dominance, principle of segregation and principle of independent assortment. So in the previous slide I already told you based on which observation Mendel arrived at each of these principles. So let us quickly talk about each of them in detail. So let us first talk about the principle of dominance. It says that in heterozygous organisms, only one out of the two alleles expresses itself, which is the dominant trait, while the other remains hidden, that is the recessive trait. So if we talk about the Mendel's experiment, we see for a heterozygous organism like this tall plant, capital T, small t. So capital T is a dominant trait, small t is a recessive trait, right? So what did Mendel do? He crossed a tall plant with a dwarf plant. So he took a tall plant and a dwarf plant. When he crossed them, he found that all the plants that were obtained were tall. That's because each of them had one dominant allele present in each of them, right? So only the dominant traits get expressed in the F1 generation. However, that doesn't mean that the other trait gets lost. The other trait also remains in that organism, but in a hidden form. And that trait is known as the recessive trait. So this was the principle of dominance. Next was the principle of segregation. It says that each allele retains its identity even though they remain together in an individual. They segregate only during gamete formation. That means when we talk about a heterozygous tall plant, for example, capital T, small t. Now, they always remain together and they together make the plant tall. That's because capital T is a dominant trait. But that doesn't mean that this small t, the hidden trait, will lose its identity. It will still retain its identity. And when will they separate out? They separate out during gamete formation. When, when you cross-pollinate it, so each of them will separate out. That is how we do it, right? So, what is seen? Let us suppose, so it was seen that when the F1 generation plant, so this was the F1 generation plant, that is capital T, small t, self-pollinated. So what was the result? The result was one homozygous tall, two heterozygous tall and one dwarf plant. So when did these alleles separate out? During gamete formation, capital T, small t, capital T, small t. And then these com can combine in one of these ways. Right? And that is how these four plants were formed. So each of these alleles retains its identity even though they remain together in an individual. That is the principle of segregation. The word segregate also means to separate out. So the alleles separate out only during gamete formation retaining its identity. So let us now look at the principle of independent assortment. This says that during gamete formation, segregation of alleles of one pair is independent of the segregation of alleles of the other pair. So for this, let us take the example of the dihybrid cross. So in the dihybrid cross, what did uh, Mendel do? He self-pollinated the hybrid plants with round and yellow seeds. So what were these hybrid plants with round and yellow seeds? This was nothing but the F1 generation, right? In the second experiment, we saw that he started with, he cross-pollinated round and yellow seeds with green and wrinkled seeds. So what was his first generation? The dominant traits, that is round and yellow seeds. Right now he self-pollinated the round and yellow seeds. So what did he get? So these round and yellow seeds when self-pollinated, this was the result. So he got 9 round and yellow seeds, 3 round and green seeds, 3 wrinkled and yellow seeds and 1 wrinkled and green seeds. So this was the result. Correct? So this shows that 
it is not necessary that round and yellow always have to be together right so round is the shape of the seed yellow is the color of the seed and they are independent of each other round can also exist with green color round can also exist with yellow color similarly wrinkled can exist with green color as well as it can exist with yellow color so each pair is independent of the other pair right so when when i talk about the segregation of alleles of one pair so one pair is this the second pair is this so segregation of allele of this pair is independent of the segregation of allele of this pair that means this this will segregate in its own way this will segregate in its own way and then they will combine with the other alleles also in its own way that is why all possible combinations are possible here right so these were the three important principles of inheritance given by the father of genetics gregor mendel thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again